Hello, this is Steven from the HSK Locals and HookahPro.com. This is Cameron from the HSK Locals and HookahPro.com. Today we're reviewing Tangier's uh, chocolate mint. Well, I actually got to get the pack. We don't have the actual case because the packaging's fucking garbage. Yo, pass the hose while you're gone, dog. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I don't like the packaging either. It's complete shit. Just keep it in just a regular, like, Tupperware container open. Like this. As you can tell, it's wet, and it fucking looks burnt. It's a black. Dirty-ass cut. That's what the nasty-ass Jules honey looks like. Dirty, dirty-ass cut. Yeah, I'll let you wipe it so I don't have to put the camera down. <laughs> Thank you, sir. The smell? Um, this is probably the best-smelling chocolate mint I've ever smelled. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Don't forget to wipe that first. No. I just wasn't sure. Yeah, this is a, the, definitely the best chocolate mint I've ever smelled. Although I do not smell the mint. I smell the chocolate more than anything. There you go. Are you a smoker? Yeah, I smell chocolate. Almost like a, a dark chocolate. But it's nice. It's a nice smell. I smell the chocolate. Definitely a lot stronger than the mint. The mint's actually pretty light. As you can see, the clouds are pretty weak. Um, smoking out of a shitty funnel. Too freaking cold. <laughs> hey, at least you got the funnel setting without having to tape it now. Yeah, I finally managed to fit it on there without having to use tape. Um, I'm not a fan of funnel bowls. I definitely prefer the more text <coughs> over it. Oora! Pam Shackerman, Pam Pro Host. I'm using a Vortex bowl, two Three King coals, and a KM double yellow pair with a new generation KM hose. You know what? It tastes really nice, too. Yeah. Um, now, when we first opened it, the smell was actually stronger than it was now, so we, de we decided to do a little um, experimenting, and we didn't let it sit out. At all? At all. We just opened it and packed it. That was, it was pretty harsh, um, <coughs> but uh, so we let it sit out, and now we're doing the review. I don't fucking like how canned you have to let it sit out. Fucking bullshit. Wasting my fucking time. Yeah, I want to be able to just open it, pack it, and smoke it. I don't want to have to sit there and fucking wait for it to percolate. It's uh, fucking me. retarded. And just to let you guys know, it averages about five hours. We have to let it sit out a whole fucking lot longer than that down here. Yeah, it was like, what, a month for that fucking blue gumball? And it still tasted like shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing the blue gumball was a bad batch, because it's still harsher than fuck. You can still smell soy sauce. I mean, we opened up the <coughs> fucking chocolate mint and there was no soy sauce smell whatsoever. Even the pomegranate. Yeah. There was a hole in the pomegranate? The pomegranate had very little soy sauce smell to it. The, the blue gumball, that's all you smelled. It's fucking jacked. It's still fucking jacked. And it's been sitting out there for two months now. It's fucking nasty. <laughs> I'm gonna have to end up doing a review on that one, too. <laughs> shit, though. Hey, dude, you just got a text message. It's pretty funny. Something about a mom being at home horny or something. And is it normal for her to stay at home for this long? I don't know. It's pretty fucked. Sorry. The fr hey, honey. Oh, okay. It's from your aunt, Nikki. I'm a little... Oh, I'm a little worried about Josh being home by himself for this long. Oh, honey. I thought I read horny the first time. Mind you, I'm reading it sideways. Okay, I get it now. Yeah, but the chocolate <laughs> taste in this... <laughs> Sorry, dude. The, the chocolate taste in this, definitely a nice chocolate. I actually like this. <clears throat> I don't really taste any mint in this at all. 
if there is, it's very, very faint and in the back, but other than that, it's just straight up chocolate. On a side note, does Josh know that we have this little YouTube channel, by the way? No. I'm guessing that's for the better. I'm guessing so. Well, he's he's a little younger. He doesn't need to be knowing about people smoking the pipe. And... Let alone thinking it's cool and wanting to come over here and smoke, and he can't because... Because he's fucking irritating. I don't know. I only met him the one time, and it was for like five minutes when I'm talking to your mom at McDonald's. Anyway, the clouds, the clouds were a little bigger, but they still weren't good. Oh, no, they're pretty shit. Um, for an overall rating, tastes nice. Like, it tastes real good. Not harsh. Um, I don't know, I didn't manage to burn it while I was smoking it, so... That's good. That's a plus. Um, it's not good they have to let it sit out for fucking ever. <laughs> it's... Yeah, that's... Pretty much a big downside. Um, yeah, if you get a tangiers and so, you know, order something else with it, and you know, put the tangiers out right away, and smoke the entire can of whatever else you ordered, and then by then, hopefully, the tangiers will be settled. If you're in southwestern Ontario, Canada, for a rating, I'd probably give this a seven. It'd be quite a bit higher if it didn't, if that better clouds and didn't have to fucking sit out. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe if you could taste the, the mint in it. Yeah. And the, Definitely if the mint was stronger. I remember when we first packed it right out, the mint was right up there with the chocolate. Yeah. If it stood out, the mint died. So I'm going to give this a six for me. I definitely wish that the mint was stronger in this one, but what can you do? Anyway, thanks for watching. What do I give it, do you ask? Hmm. I give it a, I'm never going to buy Tangiers because I'm one impatient little fucker who just loves to smoke and not wait. No, I will never buy Tangiers. I'll stick to Starbucks, the newly found from us social smoke, amazing shit, just burns a little harsh, but Tangiers, no way. Does it taste nice? Yes. Do I like to wait? No. Yeah, I think after we're done, we have a... Uh... Four packs of Tangiers currently. I think after they're gone, we're just going to say fuck Tangiers. And they say that Tangiers is supposed to give you a buzz, but we feel no buzz at all on this, so. Well, to be fair, we smoke a lot. A lot, a lot. And, uh, you can kind of, it feels like the like we're try like it's trying to give us a buzz. No buzz. <clears throat> no. Yeah, it's a failed attempt. It's like, if you're used to... Drinking, I don't know, say like a Mickey in a couple of hours, and then you go and drink a beer or six, and it tries giving you that buzz, but you're kind of not, it's not hitting you. That's kind of like Tangiers. You know, it tries so hard, but it failed. I'm guessing if you don't smoke much, it'll kick you in the head. Yeah, yeah like the other uh, reviewers say. It'll say, yeah, Tangiers gives me a great buzz and shit. No, I don't, I feel nothing. Yeah. Mind you, this isn't the Noir, so... The Noir is their, like, heavy-duty shit. Yeah, but still, some people are like, Oh, man, I got such a buzz from it, you know, I fell on my face. Feels even like if... I'm on, it feels like I'm on drugs. No, even if you we know? didn't smoke as much as we do, I don't think it would hit us that hard anyways. But, I don't know, maybe they're just exaggerating... Who knows? Anyway, we're rambling on, making this review a little long. Thanks yeah, it's uh, just over nine minutes. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks. Subscribe!